What is up, guys? Back here again with huge news out of the UFC. The Chow Sonnen versus Forrest Griffin fight from UFC 155 has been scrapped. In place of that, Chow Sonnen and John Jones are going to coach the next season of the Ultimate Fighter. And they are going to fight, they're going to face at a pay-per-view on April 27th for the Light Heavyweight Championship. This is really big news, especially if you're a Sonnen fan. I am a huge Sonnen fan. Sonnen is probably my... Chow Sonnen is probably my favorite fighter in the UFC right now. I just really like the guy. You can definitely tell he wants to be great and he wants to be remembered as something. And I can really get behind that, even though he you know, talks a lot of trash. You've got to be confident in yourself for other people to be confident in you. And Chow Sonnen definitely oozes confidence from himself. He definitely thinks he's a grade-A fighter. And, you know, in a sense, he is. I mean, he did come closest to beating Anderson Silva in the UFC than we've ever seen. Um performance enhancing or not, you know, with his, you know, replacement testosterone, whatever thing. But this fight right here, do I think Chow Sonnen deserves to face John Jones right now? Honestly, I don't. I, I don't think he's worthy of being the next contender to John Jones' light heavyweight title. John Jones, first off, is just on a completely different level than any other light heavyweight right now. Um, he's not Anderson Silva level. He's not that dominant yet, but he's still young. He's got a long way to go. And I really honestly don't necessarily see Chow Sonnen doing particularly well in this fight. Um, I also, the reason I don't see Chow Sonnen being worthy of the shot is he hasn't even fought in the light heavyweight division in the UFC yet. This will actually be his debut in the light heavyweight division, and he is already fighting for the title. So it proves that if you have a big mouth, you can get put into a major match in the UFC. Do I really want to see this fight? Oh, fuck yes, I want to see this fight. Um, I'm all over this fight. I wanted to see this fight freaking back at UFC 151, I was hoping. On the eight days notice that John Jones would have took that and Chow Sonnen would have got the shot there. I think back then that would have been huge and would have gotten people all really interested in that. Just uh, just in the eight days notice, I think a lot of people would have bought that show. Now, I, don't, I think it's even more so because they're going to have a whole season of The Ultimate Fighter to hype up their thing, which could be the most important and the biggest ratings of the Alpha Fighter since the first one or the third one. Um, the ratings have definitely been on decline. I think they're going to be on a rise with this, though. I will actually probably watch this Ultimate Fighter, and I haven't watched all the Ultimate Fighters since, like, season five or six, when whichever one was BJ Penn and, um, oh, I can't, I think they were just Little Evil. Oh, freaking, J Jens Pulver. BJ Penn and Jim Pulver, and I only watched that because I knew Matt Wyman, so I actually wanted to watch you know, his performance on the show. But I think this is this is this is a this is I don't know if it's great for the UFC. I think it kind of makes the title it kind of devalues the titles a little bit, or at least the title opportunities, the title shots that are just kind of given out here. Um, but at the same time, I'm a huge Chow Sonnen fan. I'm very happy he's getting this opportunity. I didn't want to see the Forrest Griffin fight that much. I do believe. It might have been a little better if he would have fought Griffin, beat Griffin, and then he would have at least said, hey, I've actually beaten the top heavyweight, a former UFC light heavyweight champion, so now at least I have some kind of claim to fighting for the title. I think he needed that. At the same time, this is going to be a huge, major money-making fight for the UFC. A lot of people want to see this. I know I definitely want to see this, and I think this could be something really big, and especially if Chow Sonnen pulls off the epic upset. Um... I think he's got a better chance than Vitor. I mean, I mean that that's enough. And Vitor came pretty close in the first round to submitting John Jones. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I know there are a lot of Chow Sonnen haters. Do you think Chow Sonnen deserves the title opportunity? Do you like this move by the UFC, or do you think it's kind of devaluing the titles or the title opportunities that are given out and handed out by the UFC? Do you, do you think that someone should have to earn it more than Sonnen did, or do you think that you know UFC should be looking out for the biggest money-making fights that people really want to see and the fights that are going to benefit them the most in you know turning in a profit they are a company they do have to look at that so uh let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i for one am a fan of this even if i don't agree that chow sonnen deserves a title shot i am still very excited for this and i'm very excited for the possibility of seeing sonnen versus jones april 27th pay-per-view and seeing three months of build-up be the ultimate fighter. I, for one, think that this is going to do huge buy rates for the UFC. I think Dana White's going to be a very happy man after this happens. Um, at the same time, with all the, with all the positives, with all the pros, 
I don't really think Chao Song deserves the title shot. And I love Chao Song as my favorite fighter. Him and Zia Pier are my two favorite fighters. And I, I, I honestly don't even like Chao Song's fighting style. I just like his mouth, and I think he's great. And I just want to see him go out there and kick ass and take names and just be just the most badass light heavyweight champion. Just bring on all comers on short notice, on just, you know, eight days notice or whatever. But I can see the argument on both sides. But I want to see what you guys think in the comment section below. I know I'm rambling on a little bit. I don't know when to get this about five minutes. So I did. And uh, yeah, just let me guys know what you think down in the comment section below. I will be down there arguing with you or, or agreeing with you down there. And I'll see you guys later.